black men owning permission to feel and to heal. That's the mantra of the stage play God Guys coming to the old Riley Theater this weekend for one night only. Joining us now to talk about this is the show's writer and director, Nay Stubbs, co-producer Chuck Brown, and lead actor Kevin Brown. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for having Thank us. You so much. And congratulations. This I mean it truly sounds like it's gonna be an amazing show. Nay, I wanted to start with you. What is God Guys all about? God Guys is about uh a focus of black male mental health and encouraging communication um, about it, talking more about it, erasing the taboo um, look that it has in the African American community. Can you share the inspiration behind this? Why you decided to write this? Um, actually, I was bullied into writing it by <laughs> this one here. Um, so he, he probably would be better fit to explain the why. Well, and in fact, the name of the show came from you, right? Yes. Um, I used to meet for lunch with a group of guys that we were talking about doing a project together, and I wanted to do something around black men's mental health. And so I called them God guys, like God brothers, and they didn't even know it for a while. And so once I shared the information with Nay as we were working on another one of her projects, we, we talked about doing this as a film, yeah. and then it evolved into a, a play. And we were gonna write it together, but then she started writing, and <laughs> I was like, this is perfect, oh. keep going. Mm -hmm. And so I've never worked with anyone who could write the visions that I had, the write, write the way that I, I write, and so it just worked out perfectly. Yeah, I mean, you were able to capture the essence of all of this. Yeah, apparently they just kept asking me, you know, like, <laughs> were you ever a male? Because, you <laughs> Well, but isn't that true? Sometimes the people who can observe it the best are the ones who aren't feeling it, who aren't going through it. You get to watch this happening. I agree, and I've always um, been a daddy's girl, and I really just caught this revelation probably a few weeks ago that um, I watched more my uncles, I watched more my dad, you know, so I'm, I'm able to relate in some ways um, as to what I had to write about. So it was, it was easy. Kevin, talk to me about starring in this and, and your role in the show. Well, we're gonna put the star to the back. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a great ensemble piece. That's wonderful. It really is. I play a character by the name of Pops, who um, never married, never had children of his own. And he was volunteering at a local rec center and he met these amazing young men, teenagers, who didn't have fathers. So he felt the need, you know, it takes a village right. concept to, to help and to raise and to build a community. So he took these guys under his wing and he became their godfather. So every year we meet at Pop's house and everybody brings something, we eat, we talk, you know, we do the man thing, you know? And, but this one time in particular, when we get together, it gets real. Yeah. Things that we never talked about before or things that we thought we talked about before are revealed. Some of the things that men are not privy to talk about, you know, and uh, the support that we said that we actually did give each other, it does come to fruition. It all comes out. The floodgates open and everything comes out in this layer of onions that uh, mm -hmm. emotional, it's, 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 it's good. <laughs> this is about this. I mean, truly. I mean, this is about mental health. But do you guys bring your own perspective to this? I mean, is this coming from a place of you've experienced and and you obviously found your group that you were able to be vulnerable with? But yes. is that something that's still missing for so many men? Absolutely, and that that was the importance for me. There were a lot of the the concepts in this production that came from my personal life, mm -hmm. and so they were pieces of things that I experienced, pieces of things that other black men experienced that we don't talk about. And so once I saw that safe space within our group, I said, I know there are other people who need the same experience. And now we can bring all of those things to the table. And even with our cast, they've experienced some of the same things as if the play was written from their life. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about some of those things? And Absolutely. what are those? Mm -hmm. uh, some of the things that we uh, deal with, um, just trauma, a lot of things that are trauma-based, uh, molestation as well, um, abandonment, uh, death, relationships on any level, um, just and drug addiction. It, just right, drug yeah. addiction, and just um, the definition of what a male's strength is. Right, and being able to show that vulnerability sometimes is the truest strength there is. Yes, mm -hmm. right. Absolutely. Um, is this 
Tell me about your, your past in directing and writing. What else have you done, Nay? Well, so for about 15 years, I toured a production called The No More Project with an evolving cast. Mm -hmm. And once COVID came about, and prior to that, you know, I've done I'm more a background person, so um, I like to assist others on their productions. And then once COVID came, I got into film. And so I have a couple of films under my belt um, that are in post-production at this time. Right now, this is the only uh, production that I'm working on for stage, but I have several others that are coming up pretty soon. What are you all hoping the takeaway is from this, this show coming up this weekend? I hope that the parameters of what it means to be a man are expanded, yeah. okay? Women have the emotional ability to be whatever. We buy little girls uh, things to learn how to cook and they could play with trucks too, but being a boy and you have a little boy Oh, yeah, uh, you know, it, there's pretty much a restricted parameter that they have to exist in and it's okay to not be okay mm -hmm. And to find somebody to talk to to express how you're truly feeling and it doesn't Emasculate you well, and that's you know, even raising a little boy you, you've heard in previous generations Don't cry be right. a man stop crying, you know, exactly. we don't do that in our house yeah. because I feel very much that Everybody should be entitled to their emotions, exactly. whether that's crying or feeling whatever it is you're feeling. And men have tear ducts. Right. We're all able to cry. That is absolutely true. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. It's going to be amazing. God Guys is playing at the O'Reilly Theater this Saturday night at 8. We are going to have more information on our website, kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh.